गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू मनी टाइम एट मनी नाइन दिस इज शॉर्ट एंड इन नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट द बिगेस्ट पर्सनल फाइनेंस न्यूज ऑफ द डे सो लेट्स बिगिन विद जियो रिलायंस जियो हैज लॉन्च न्यू पोस्ट पेड फैमिली प्लान स्टार्टिंग एट रुपीज थ्री पर मंथ द प्राइस सीवरली अंडरकट्स ट्रैवल भारतीय एयरटेल्स प्लान विच स्टार्ट फ्रॉम नाइन नाइन्टी द जियो प्लस फैमिली पोस्ट प्लान allow a family of 4 to try the services of free of cost for a month the plan provides 75 gb data at 5g speeds with unlimited calling and messaging the 699 rupees month pack offers 100 gb data at 5g speeds with unlimited calling and messaging as well as subscription to netflix and amazon prime video a single bill is generated for the entire family there is some good news for the banking system The Reserve Bank of India has reported a sharp decline in gross non-performing asset in the last two years, but willful defaults have shot up with old loan accounts getting added. There has been a rise of 38.5% or 94,000 crores rupees in willful defaults in the last two years. There were 15,778 willful default accounts involving an amount of rupees 3.4 lakh crore as of December 2022 against 14,000. 206 accounts involving 2.85 lakh crore rupees a year ago period in December 2021 In the past three years domestic airlines received over 4700 customer complaints on various issues including handling of baggage customer service staff behavior and catering the maximum 2550 complaints were received by Air India followed by Indigo with 853 and SpiceJet 476 nearly half of the complaints received by Air India were in 2021 and the number declined to 761 in 2022 which also saw its take over by the tatas passengers can lodge their grievances through air seva portal managed by civil aviation ministry sundaram finance has raised fixed deposit rates for general public by 25 basis point from 7.2% to 7.45% which is effective from 16th march the interest rate on deposits with terms of 24 and 36 months have been increased from previous 7.5% to 7.75% which is up by 25 basis point the interest rate on deposits made up for up to 12 months by elderly persons has raised from 7.7% to 7.95% the interest rate on term deposits with terms of 24 and 36 months has increased from 8% to 8.25% according to the company in the era of rising rate The Jammu Kashmir Bank has cut interest rate on FDs by 25 basis point. The bank has reduced its interest rate on FDs of less than 2 crore rupees by up to 25 basis point. The new interest rates are effective from March 11. The bank currently provides a maximum interest rate to 7.25% on a tenor of 1 year to less than 2 years as a result of the modification on fixed deposits in maturing in 7 days to 30 days. The bank will continue to offer an interest rate of 3.5%. And this is for those government staff pensioners expecting arrears of DA for the period of Jan 2020 to June 2021. The government will not be paying central government employees 18 months worth DA allowance which is arrears that was stopped during the COVID-19 pandemic. The DA arrears was stopped during the COVID-19 pandemic to send government employees and pensioners for 18 months. The government said arrears of DA DR are not regarded as feasible due to the negative financial impact of the pandemic. Now to some product launches. Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India has launched 100 cc version of its popular Shine model. Shine 100 is priced at 64,900 rupees ex showroom in Maharashtra. The Honda Shine 100 is powered by an all new 100 cc OBD2 compliant PGM FI engine boosted by enhanced smart power that is ESP which will deliver high fuel efficiency optimum performance and less emissions the engine produces around 8 bhp and when it comes mated with four speed manual transmission Honda Shine 100 HMSI claimed will offer a fuel economy of 60 km per liter the Shine 100 will be available in five color options Smartphone brand Poco has launched a new handset in India called Poco X5 5G. It is mid-range device powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor. The smartphone has 120 Hz AMOLED screen and offers 5G support. The smartphone's base variant packs 6 GB RAM with 128 GB internal storage. It is priced at 18,999 rupees. Another model comes with 8 GB RAM and is priced at 20,999 rupees. Buyers can get discount of two thousand rupees on using ICICI Bank Credit Card and exchange a bonus of two thousand rupees. 
Realme has introduced the Realme C33 2023 edition in India, expanding its range of budget smartphones. This latest model is an upgrade from the previous version which is Realme C33, featuring an HD Plus display and Unisoc chipset. The budget-friendly smartphone operates on Android 12 operating system and is supported by 5000mAh battery. The smartphone is available in two versions, one with 4GB RAM with 64GB storage and another one with 4GB RAM and 128GB storage, which are priced at 9999 and 10, rupees respectively. Citro India has hiked the price of C3 hatchback for the second time this year. Prices of car makers entry-level model this time around has been increased by rupees 18,000 across almost all variants. It continues to be offered in two broad trims, life and feel, and comes with two petrol engine options. The turbo petrol variant will not be affected by the price hike. The car is now priced between Rs. 6.16 lakh and Rs. 8.25 lakh. And primary market seems to be muted, with companies raising only Rs. 4.78 crore through 12 initial public offerings in January. Out of 12 IPOs, only two were main board that garnered Rs. 323 crore, while 10 small medium enterprises that is SME mobilized 155 crore through initial share sales. In comparison, companies mopped up funds to the tune of 5,120 crore through IPO in December. Overall, total of 38 companies collected over Rs. 57,000 crore in 2022, which is way lower than 1.2 lakh crore rupees raised by 63 companies in 2021. And with this, we end the session here. But if you want to follow more news and want to track the coverage of our personal finance conclave, you can visit our YouTube channel.